What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through a proof of the formula for the law of sines. So to prove this, what I want to do is I want to look at the area of triangle ABC, but I'm going to use the trig formula for this. So what I could say here, I could say one half, and if I pick two sides, so let's say I pick sides B and C, I could say one half BC sine of the angle between them. So this is the area of triangle ABC. So we'll just emphasize here that this is the area of triangle ABC, but there's three ways using this trig formula that we could express the area. So notice I use sides B and C, but what if I use sides A and C? Then I would have one half A times C, and the angle between them is angle B. So we could say sine of angle B. So this is another way of finding the area of the triangle, and the area of the triangle does not change, so these two are definitely equal to each other. And then the third way of expressing this would be to say one half AB, and then we have sine of angle C, which is the angle between sides A and B. So now to derive the formula, we're just going to do a little bit of algebra. We're going to divide all three sides of this equation by one half ABC. So we're doing that to all three sides here. And once everything cancels out, notice we have one half over one half canceling on each part here. But now on the first term, we have B over B canceling, C over C canceling, and we're left with sine A over A equals, and notice here, A over A cancels, C over C cancels, leaving us with just sine B over B. And now on the third part of this equation, A over A cancels, B over B cancels, and we're left with sine of angle C over side C. And there's our formula for the law of sines.